Hi everybody, and welcome back. Today, we're going to take another look at the preposition down and what it can mean when it's used with phrasal verbs. So, in a previous video, we saw that down can mean topple. Now, we can extend the meaning of topple to get the idea of defeat. And the reason for this is that when somebody is defeated in a physical confrontation, they typically tend to topple over. So with that said, how do you think we could describe this animation? Here, a boxer strikes his opponent and defeats him. So we can say, the boxer knocks down his opponent. Knocks means strike, and down means defeat. So the sentence just means, the boxer strikes and defeats his opponent. Or, the boxer defeats his opponent by striking him. Okay, so let's try a similar example. How do you think we could describe this using a phrasal verb with down, in which down means defeat? Here, a samurai cuts his opponent and defeats him. So we can say, the samurai cuts down his opponent. Cuts means cut, and down means defeat. So the sentence just means, the samurai cuts and defeats his opponent. Or, the samurai defeats his opponent by cutting him. Now, down can also mean defeat in a metaphorical way. So with that in mind, how do you think we could describe this using a phrasal verb with down, where down means to metaphorically defeat something? Here, a committee votes against a proposal and defeats it. So we can say, the committee votes down the proposal. Votes means vote, and down means defeat. So the sentence simply means, the committee votes and defeats the proposal. Or, the committee defeats the proposal by voting. So I hope this helped you understand the preposition down a little bit better and why it can sometimes mean defeat. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.